Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain what is page chaining model. So let's get started. Page chaining model is nothing but page object model. That is page object model has another name. It can also be called with another name, this page object model, which is a design pattern that we use while developing the frameworks for Selenium automation is also known as or called as page chaining model. Why this page object model is called as page chaining model? Okay, why it has a different name? Okay, why it can also be called as a page chaining model? Let me explain, okay? Why it is also called as a page chaining model? So here, if you see, this is the project guys, which has implemented this, okay? Where the page object model has been implemented, okay? If you see this particular test, login test.java, here we have some tests, okay? I'm, I'm assuming that you already know the page object model. Okay, so the context here is I'm not going to explain the page object model. Rather, I'm trying to explain why page object model is also called as page chaining model. Here we have a test case, login with valid credentials. So what I did is I created the object repository. Okay, I removed the hard coding of the objects in this uh, test methods and moved them to the page object classes. Okay, instead of creating a single class, I created multiple classes. You see, the objects or the elements which belong to the login page, that is email address, password, and login button are part of the login page. Okay, login page. As part of the page objects, we have the login page here. And all these elements, you see, the web elements, email address, web element, okay, ID. Email address, web element has is locating with the help of ID. This is an object, guys, okay? It is a web element or object, whatever, whatever you call. So according to the pages, you are categorizing these web elements, okay? Login page related web elements are put in the login page.java, whereas home page.web elements are put under the home page.java. Here you see my account drop menu, login option, register option, okay? All these are belong to the home page, okay? These elements belong to the home page are put under the home page. So this is, uh, here we are maintaining an object repository by categorizing the objects according to their respective pages as part of the page object model. So why this page object model is also called as page chaining model along with this objects guys, along with this objects, if you see here, along with this objects, there are some methods also for each and every object I created here. There's a method enter product details into the search box or else we'll go to the login page, which will be easy here for email address. What is there? Enter email address is there. Okay. So we are passing the email text and uh, to this email address field web element or object. We are typing the text using Selenium uh, sending is email text after entering the email. Then after entering the password, you see, enter password after entering the password and after clicking on the login button, after I click on the login button, what will happen guys? I'll show you practically guys what will happen. Okay. Let's go to the login page. Let's go to the login page. When I go to the login page, when I uh, enter the email address, let's give a valid email address. And when I enter a valid password and click on the login button, the moment I click on the login button, it will no more be there in the login page. It will take you to another page. Guys. Okay. Click on the login button. It's taking you to the which page? Account page. You see, this is account page, guys. Okay. As you can see, this is the account page. Account page. This is account page. So what we are doing is on clicking the login button, we are returning, we are returning the object of the account page. You see, we are returning the object of this account page. That means the page object model is designed in such a way that one page, okay, based on the actions, okay, taken by the user, we are going to go to the another page. So chaining is being there, okay? It's being chained. Login page is now chained to account page. That is account page is where here is the account page. Login page is now chained to account page, okay? Account page. As you can see here in the account page, I'm verifying whether edit your account information link is displayed, okay? Just to see whether the login has been successful. I'm verifying whether this option is being displayed on the page or not, okay? So same thing here also, guys. If I go to the home page, somewhere here, I am returning the object of the login page, okay? So after I, uh, click on the search button. Uh, uh, one minute, uh, let me. So this is which page? Home page. Okay. In home page, what I am doing on the home page. So here, let's go to the home page first. Okay. Let's go to the home page, guys. Go to messenger.com slash demo of this application. From the home page, what I am doing, I am writing a test here, guys. Okay. In the, if you can see the login test jar java, you can see that. Okay. I am just creating an object for the home page. And from the home page, I am clicking on which option? my account drop menu option. I'm clicking on um, my account. This is a my account, okay? Drop menu option. After that, um, this my account drop menu, homepage dot select login option, okay? 
in the on the home page i'm selecting the login option this login option i'm selecting the moment i select the login option i'm no more on the home page i'm taken to the which page login page this is a login page guys okay this is a login page where email address password and login button are there so this select login option method of the home page you see this select login option method of the home page is returning you the object of the login page when you select that login option you are taken to the login page okay so once you are taken to the login page you see the page is connected home page is now connected to the from home page you came to the login page okay you are creating the objects according to these pages that's why it's called as this design pattern page object model approach or design pattern is also called as page chaining model your pages are chained okay using this uh, return or retaining objects this method is chained to this another method in the login page okay login page so what's happening next we are getting the return type of the select login option as a login page okay object of the login page the page objects and then the login page i'm entering the email address and then i'm entering the password here password valid email address valid password after that i am uh, clicking on the login button the moment i click on the login button with the uh, valid credentials you are taken to account page you see this method is retaining the object of the account page here you can clearly understand home page is leading you to the login page login page after after clicking on the login button with valid credentials is leading you to the account page on the account page we are verifying whether this edit your account information option is being displayed or not so this page object model is nothing but page chaining model because pages are chained according to the actions performed we will go from page 1 to page 2 okay in the object repository okay so hope guys you understood uh, why page object model is also known as page chaining model in this session okay this question may also be asked as part of the interviews so whatever the answer i gave you in this or whatever the explanation i have gave you in this session you have to use the same for answering this interview question if you get in any of the interviews okay so that's all for this session thank you bye